Warren Buffett realized this in the 1960s. He became a personal brand and started doing his annual Berkshire Hathaway. So phase six, even if you're shy, you must grow your own personal brand. We are in we are in the third wave of wealth in modern history. Wave one was the rise of government-based wealth. Christopher Columbus, he he partnered with the kings and queens of Europe to create his own wealth. He had to get the permission of government. Okay, that, that, that is wave one of wealth in the modern world. Wave two was the rise of corporations. That's Rockefeller, Vanderbilt, Carnegie. That started in the late 1700s, 1800s, and continues to this day. But approximately in 2020, is my opinion, we entered into the third wave, which is the rise of individuals. Mr. Beast told me, Ty, he came to visit me. He said, I'll be a billionaire before I'm 30. I think he's about there. Does he have a government help? Nope. Does he have a corporation? Not really. He has his own Mr. Beast LLC or whatever, but that's not a corporation. So there, we now live in the rise. The third wave has come upon us. And that third wave necessitates each of each high level entrepreneur. This call today is not, I don't have anybody on here who's starting out. This is all for advanced entrepreneurs. Um, it is, this is not an optional thing. You either do this or you become extinct. Okay. The way nature works with stubborn people is it just makes them extinct. I want you to understand that nature is ruthless. The Neanderthals were stronger than us. By the way, all of our DNA, we have the Neanderthal DNA right now. All of us. I, I did my test. I'm two and a half percent Neanderthal. Okay. That means Neanderthals roamed the earth when our ancestors were here and our ancestors mated with them. Okay. But why are there no more Neanderthals? Because they were stubborn. Stubborn. So I, I talk to some entrepreneurs and they go, I'm not going to do that. Well, adapt or die, adapt or become extinct. So this phase six of growing your own personal brand might feel uncomfortable, but it ain't as uncomfortable as going extinct. You, you, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> going extinct is what should freak you out. Most people are afraid of the wrong thing. I always say the only thing you should fear is living a shitty life. Now, as we go back to phase two, Hiring leaders to replace most of your day to day, that's going to give you free time. So you will have more time with your children. You'll have more time to travel. You'll have more time to date if you're single. You will have more time to go to the gym. You will have more time to read a book. Okay. So many humans that are doing one to 100 million have no time. That doesn't count in my book. My playbook, I'm playing a different game. To me, most entrepreneurs are playing checkers. You know, how could I be the richest person in the world? That's not me. Nothing wrong with creating wealth. No, don't get me wrong. I just did it. I don't know if you all saw my new debate came out. I was on a panel debating capitalism versus communism. I was obviously a capitalist. So I'm not anti-capitalism. But the, the chess game is how do you get health, wealth, love, happiness. In order to have health, wealth, love, happiness, you're going to have to have free time for your health every day. If you ain't sleeping in the Ty Lopez rule book of business, you're you're losing. Oh, God. If you're not sleeping, I slept my sleep score yesterday on my aura ring was an 85, or today was 85. I'll pull it up exactly. Let me see what I got. So it's important to me that I'm sleeping. You know, if you ain't sleeping, you're going, I got an 88 optimal. 8.3 hours in bed, eight and a half hours in bed. And seven hours and 51 minutes actually asleep. Sleep efficiency of 92%. Resting heart rate, 54 beats per minute. Restfulness was optimal. That means I didn't wake up multiple times. I don't know, maybe one time or none at all. REM sleep, two hours and 26 minutes, 31%. Deep sleep, an hour, 20 minutes, 17%. That's a little lower, but it's still on this compared to the average human. I'm in the 98th percentile. I like to get over 100 minutes. So I only got 80 the day before I got it. But my point, why am I bringing this up? Because in the, in the real game of life, okay, it's health, wealth, love, happiness, not just wealth. So by following phase two of this system, the scaling system, you are going to experience more free time. 
because you're going to have a chief operating officer doing a lot of the day to day. You will still need to spend always for the rest of your life, one to three hours in operations and day to day. I want to just tell you that right now. I don't have time for shit. All these amateur gurus telling you, you, you will, if you want to create real wealth, there's nobody who spends less than one to three hours every day on day to day. It's all bullshit. Even Carnegie, who is, he only, he said he would only work two hours a day. He worked two hours a day every day. So I'm a bigger fan. I check my businesses six days a week. I take Sunday off, but on average in day to day operations, I'm in two to three hours. Now phase one breaks out into several things. You need to do more frequent Zoom meetings. Okay, very important. I do Zoom meetings six days a week. I divide my company into 14 divisions. 14th division is executives. You need at least two executives, you plus another person. If you are doing less than a million, then you are the only executive. But if once you start breaking seven to eight figures, you need at least two people in division 14, ideally three, okay? When you're doing more than 50 million, you need three executives if you an example of this is the biggest corporation basically ever created the most wealth ever created is microsoft microsoft and apple depending on what year you look at but it was bill gates steve Ballmer, and paul allen um with warren buffett you have warren buffett charlie munger and really they have this guy named ajit jane who's their third guy they really run the business with three guys okay so Stop listening to all the weirdo gurus. Stop it. Look at the top. That's part of my 67 step. Just stop it. You know, people are full of nonsense. They're trying to tell me, you know, it, these are the best of the best that make you money. They generally have two or three leaders. Okay. In the C-suite. So you should be the chief executive officer and you need a chief operating officer. Now, you need a division 13 too, which is your directors. Okay. So you were in, the, let's say you're doing 50 million plus to be clear, you need three executives, you plus two more. So a chief executive, you, a chief operating officer. Good. And then you like a CFO can be good. Depends on the business you're in. If you're in certain businesses, I would have the third person be a chief mar marketing officer. If I was in finance, I'd have my CFO, you know, it depends on what you're in. Then you will have a division below you of directors or managers. That's the 13th division. And you need about 80, 20 rule. So for every 10 staff, two need to be leaders of some level and they, their management. 